My name is uh, Frank Babinick. I'm the fire chief for the Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department. The city of Coral Springs is located in northwest Broward County. Uh, we protect a population of about 150,000 people, a little over 40 square miles. Um, we're a career department. We have 173 full-time uh, paid members, including fire administration. We uh, are a full-service department that offers uh, fire suppression, ALS, uh, EMS. We have a um, community risk reduction division and also a state certified training center. Um, the department has been and uh, has, was established in 1970, and uh, we've had a um, aerial device uh, within the department ever ever since uh, probably the 80s. Um, the reason we chose uh, the Pierce uh, platform was the department's going through, or the city's going through, a little bit of an expansion with the downtown. And we expect that uh, we're going to start seeing some more high rises uh, starting to pop up. As of right now, we're mostly a suburban uh, bedroom type community, but uh, that's going to be changing over the next several years. The reason we uh, chose the uh, 100 foot Pierce uh, Velocity aluminum platform was um, to fill a couple different needs within the city of Coral Springs. Uh, one of which was uh, not only an aerial device, which obviously this is, uh, this is a great device for that, but also for special rescue or light rescue type situations. As you can see in the front bumper, we have uh, a setup for our TNT hydraulic tools for quick deployment and rapid extrication type situations. The other thing that we took a close look at <clears throat> with this uh, vehicle was the safety features that not only it had, but we wanted to build in a little extra safety features. Uh, the front impact uh, protection as well as the side impact protection. We have uh, side view cameras as well as the view, rear view cameras on, on this vehicle. Within the cabin of the truck, being that we are an ALS department, we built in several uh, ALS uh, medical compartments. We have front forward facing seats, and as you can see within those seats, there's no air pack brackets. That's by design. We wanted to, uh, from a health and wellness standpoint, put all the air packs on the exterior of this truck. That way they're post a fire. We don't have our firefighters being exposed to the byproducts of combustion. This truck was also built without a tank and a pump. Um, the reason for that was we wanted to have this transverse compartment be able to store our specialty rescue type uh, equipment. We did uh, want to address firefighting capabilities on this truck, so we did put a CAF system. We have a TriMax Super 70 CAF system on this vehicle that will give us the same firefighting power as the standard onboard tank would. We have um, extra bottle storage as you go around the, the truck for uh, SCBA bottles. We also have uh, dual cord reels, electrical cord reels on both sides. Uh, as you can see up in the compartments here, these cords deploy from each side of the apparatus, giving us the ability to deploy our ventilation fans, uh, any electric driven uh, extrication tools or, or any other types of situations, lighting and so forth. As I said with the, uh, you know, we're looking at this, this apparatus really from a, a, a special rescue type uh, standpoint. One of the things that we really liked about this vehicle that we couldn't find anywhere else in the market was its ability to go below grade. Uh, 11 degrees below grade as it's set up uh, level, but you can actually alter that to even get more reach when the ladder's fully extended. We have a dive rescue team, and one of the things that uh, we constantly struggle with is steep canal banks. This truck will allow us access to the water uh, to help extricate and remove victims from water rescue type situations. This is the uh, exterior SCBA storage compartment that I spoke about earlier. This allows our firefighters quick access to their SCBAs in a safe manner. The SCBAs come down so they're at a, uh, an accessible point for all of our firefighters. They can either use the over-the-head method or coat method to put their SCBAs on in a very timely manner to, uh, to be able to go to work. This is our uh, compartment that houses the TriMax 
calf system. Uh, we have a 150 foot of one inch line with a smooth bore nozzle on the end of it that gives this apparatus the ability to uh, have quick knockdowns on vehicle fires, uh, outside structure fires, uh, outside of the structure fires, and uh, also defensive operations with maybe exposures. We're not intending to use this system for interior firefighting type operations, but more for those emergency uh, rescue type situations. And this is the transverse compartment from the other side. As you can see, there's, uh, there's plenty of room for storage of a specialty type of equipment that we're looking to carry on this apparatus. It's an honor for the Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department to have one of its apparatus at a premier fire rescue show. I'm hoping that there's other departments out there that had the opportunity to see this vehicle and maybe got something out of it that they could use for their organization and to protect their residents back at home.